Good morning, beautiful people. Today, we have a little bit of a different video. Today, we've got a lot of stuff we're gonna try to get done on the property. A lot of stuff that uh, I've needed to do, but I haven't had the tools to do it. Um, and we're getting set up for a Halloween party. We're gonna be hosting a, a friends and family Halloween party. So we gotta get the property cleaned up a little bit. Gotta get a fire pit, stuff like that uh, stuff done. So it's gonna be an interesting video. I was gonna put it on the second channel, but we haven't posted on there in like, six months so i decided we're gonna put it on the main channel if you guys like this stuff we'll keep doing it if you don't i'll just go screw myself and do something <laughs> so anyway uh today's video is sponsored by keith so thanks to them uh we'll get into that in a little bit with that being said we're gonna get the items we need come back to the property and get after it but we got a really cool fire pit situation it's gonna be cool we are at lowe's Help you get the job done, and we got my workers for the day. Hudson and Trav. All right. hey, Trav thought he was a cameraman, hey, but can we talk I, about this real I just quick? fed you gas station food, brother. You have got your food, yeah, brother. You got your soap water too, man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to get all our ingredients or tools, not ingredients. Jesus Christ, we're not baking a pie. Chainsaw, tiki torches, water hose. We need spigots. We need a uh, trailer, actually. That's our biggest thing. We don't have the trailer. We'll figure that out. We'll, we'll get a trailer last if we need to. We're buying all the tiki torches. Well, all the like relatively nice tiki torches. We got a big uh, skeeter problem. This is gonna help us knock those down. Got it. Did you actually get it? Yeah. Oh yeah. That worked, that worked good. Good work, God, dude. Dang, got a bruise on my freaking thigh. We need a freaking torch. That's actually, this is the same brand weed, weed eater I got. We need help. Thank Click you. The button. Someone will be with you shortly. Thank you. We'll be right here. There you go, brother. Got a chainsaw. Learning quickly that hoes are a lot more expensive than we originally anticipated. And so <laughs> I've decided to leave the hose here. I'm gonna get a really good hose at Walmart. Believe it or not, Walmart has really good hoses. Walmart ain't got better hoses, I'm telling you that right Dude, now. Walmart has some good hoses. Nah, you just gotta nah, look hard. Nah. We got shovels. Brandon. Leave, leave the hose alone. Man, just leave can't. the hose alone. Come on. Leave, leave the hose alone. alone. Higher quality hose. Well, seven hundred dollars later, we got some items. I didn't think it was gonna be a freaking thousand dollar day, but here we are. So, uh, we just got to the property. This is our project right here, Operation Planter Fire Pit. I think it's gonna be really cool. Uh, also, just a quick heads up: if you ever wanted to get flavored water, don't. This stuff tastes like. What was it? What'd you call it? I said soap water, man. Yeah, it does taste like soap water. Uh, it used to be like a planter. It's got all these plants in it, obviously, but uh, our deal is we're gonna take all the plants out. Hudson brought up a good point. We're gonna weed eat this, and then we've got the shovels. We're gonna shovel out a bunch of dirt, and this will be our massive fire pit. It's kind of, it's kind of a sick fire pit, yeah, to honestly, be honest. Honestly, dude, you could have people sit on yeah. both sides. Like, it's long. pretty it's sick, cool. so it's it contains itself. We've got the water over here. Hudson and I, uh, we started the uh, Jig and Pipe Laying LLC company. Um, Hudson helped me uh, lay some pipe in the... You helped me fix a leaky pipe. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with number one, the fire pit. And then we're going to pull out some trees with the trucks. It'll be really cool. And then throw them into the fire pit. So it's going to be cool. We're going to burn some stuff. We're going to destroy what, what, what some stuff man? today doesn't like chainsaws and fire my boy <laughs> chainsaws Jeez. and fire that's gonna be the title of this video chainsaws, chainsaws and, fire. and fireballs dude <laughs> gonna take a quick break to tell you about the sponsor of today's video which is keeps keeps is a subscription service that makes it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness with online consultations with a real doctor automated shipping and delivery to your home and by offering the generic versions of FDA approved medication for hair loss two out of three men are going to experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they are 35. So two thirds of you guys are going to have to deal with this. And the best way to deal with it is do something while you still have hair. By the way, that is a fact. That's not just a number I made up. That's like a real internet fact. With Keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information online and recommend the right hair loss treatment plan for you. Then your treatment is delivered directly to your door every three months. Keeps offers generic versions of the FDA approved medications for hair loss, which basically means it's gonna be more affordable for you. All my dudes, all my gentlemen, listen up because this is the most important part. Keeps treatment typically take between four to six months to start seeing results, which means it's important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you'll save. Now, if you're ready to take action and
and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash Jordan or click the link in the description below. Save 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Jordan. Thank you, Keeps, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the action. Seen just a solid one of these? I thought this was a center block. It's just a block. That whole thing is solid, bro. <laughs> What the hell? All right, this is shovel time, baby. Time to dig his fire pit out. I think we're gonna go like a couple feet down. Really, uh, you know, yeah, maybe a foot, foot and a half, maybe. We got some big ants, though. That's a uh, that's a big problem here at the old Jig and Farm. This is now our soon to be fire pit. She looks freaking tits money. I'm also sorry about the time lapse. We started it uh, about four fourths of the way of being done with this. Uh, but now it's time to crank out some little trees. We got some gasoline. Let's get our first burn going. Oh my ants. Yeah, there's a lot of ants also. That about to be popcorn, dude. Sorry about your luck, you little fire ants. You about to be some real fire ants. <laughs> oh. Holy. One less tree. Sick. All right. Well, chainsaw is absolutely phenomenal to freaking use. About the uh, best freaking tool I bought in a long time. It's a lot of fun. But it seems like everything we cut, freaking ants just start pouring out of it. But. She is fun and she makes you feel like a total man. But we do have this giant pile of wood over here. Mind you, some of this wood we are gonna be using for like a, uh, like our actual firewood for the party. But a lot of this stuff is just like trying to clean up the property. We have a giant pile right here off the back side of the property here. So we got the house and stuff way down there. And then we got this giant pile. But I do think this old bundle of sticks right here that used to be some sort of plant and uh, I think now it's going to be the ultimate fire starter. We're having a problem getting our fire going. Can't really figure that out, but I put Hudson on fire duty and I'm on trimming tree duty. So I'm going to cut all this up little pieces, bring it on over to the fire pit, have a bunch of logs for the party. Our brand is over there hunting and gathering the wood for the fire. I got it started. We're actually burning wood now, not just the cardboard we use to start it. And he's about to add a massive piece <laughs> that I might think kill it. So you think we got a real fire pit now? No, not, not yet. Give it a minute. Okay, never mind. There you go. That's just cardboard. That's actually wood burning. So it's working. Did a great job. It's working. Did a great job. It's the gloves. It's I'm gonna be honest. Gloves. Putting a fire pit in a freaking concrete planter. It's actually freaking genius. So, Travis, enough for that one, bro. Freaking mother load over here. Snap, crackle, pop, rice, crisps, baby. Jesus, the fire pit's the best thing we've ever done. Dude, those are all ants. Every single one of those is ants. That is crazy, dude, look at that. It's a wall of ants. I don't know why I did that. That was a stupid idea. I'm not gonna lie, it's freaking, uh, can I say tits money on YouTube? Gucci taters, that's my go-to. Wow. It's freaking Gucci taters. I actually like that one a lot. That is way more country than freaking tits money. Anyway, <clears throat> we got the fire firing. We got the chainsaw chainsawing and uh chainsaw's fire. Yeah, we chainsaw's fire boss. So we we're trying to figure out the title for this video, so let us know how close we got. Um I got a couple piles of like old fencing wood. So 
I got this old guy right here. Now, I think we can chop these up. Doop, 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 doop. Use some of this as firewood too, but I'm not completely sure. I mean, you guys can see there's a freaking ton of it. There's a bunch of dead stuff on it too. But then we got these big boys. This is, uh, well, these are like the freaking Mega Log 5000s. These are just gosh dang giants. So we got those two. I just want to get rid of like the random piles of stuff. Just not the biggest fan of having like piles of junk everywhere so but i mean i guess our fire pits contain we can you know i can just stay like throughout the night just keep chunking stuff but i don't really know so let me know in the comment section below if i can burn these fence posts if they're treated or not i don't think they're treated because to be honest like the piles i have are rotten but if they are treated i definitely don't want to be burning that and breathing in all that good stuff this is all natural stuff besides the painted wood which is probably not great, not great. but we're getting it figured out Skeeters are a big problem, so we got some tiki torches and some tiki bug juice repellent. A skeeter juice. Skeeter juice. We're gonna put it on the sidewalk, leading to the fire. This is more for for the party, cause I honestly just try not to come outside at night. These skeeters will pick you up and take you away. We were trying to do like the kayak fishing at night, not a yeah, not good. So we're gonna break these down. We got six hours. A swig of that. That'd be a bad day. I guarantee bugs wouldn't touch you for a freaking year. <laughs> you would never have to throw on mosquito spray. <laughs> Drink this and just start sweating it out. That's the ultimate repellent right there. There have been times where I've been in the woods where like, I may have done it. <laughs> I may have chugged this if it kept me from getting bit, dude. All right, well, welcome back to the Jiggin' Studio Spot Place of Business. You guys know uh, this building we've been working on super hard and it keeps looking worse and worse, but because we're making it better and better, if that makes sense. Right now it's an absolute mess, but I wanna kinda give you the update. Um, so we've got this bait wall here, which I feel like I have shown. Um, we've got uh, this flag. We've got some like really nice, like complete blackout blinds coming. We've got this uh, really nice butcher block table all the way down there. And um, we're, we've been stepping up our video game. So we've got this like drop mount camera deal. So basically this camera that you guys are looking at right now, it actually goes onto this. And then we've got the screen and the light and everything. It looks down, films. It, it's really, really cool. Uh, then we got Hudson. What's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Uh, Red Bull, I think this is gonna be my mystery tackle box wall. Um, mystery. I need baits for the wall, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. We've got, we've also got all the gear over here. I thought I was gonna keep it in here, but I decided to uh, actually move all the gear to, I'm basically extending the building out and I'm having like a gear room. This is gonna be like the man cave podcast room. <sighs> Trash, did I do it? I don't really wanna do it. I got renderings of the podcast studio. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't I think I should hold off. I, I love you guys to death, but I, the podcast is like, it's gonna be more closer towards the end of the year thing. And I just don't want to like, understand yeah, it's a, ah. it's going to be one of the sickest sets, uh, at least an outdoor space for sure. But it's like a super top of the line set we have getting custom built and put in here by some really cool guys who I will share later, but it's going to be a whole thing. Uh, it's going to go in that corner. This, this room's coming along. It's coming along. We're going to get a TV and all that stuff and. It's gonna be good, but it just takes time. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. A little all over the place, a little bit different, change of pace for sure, uh, but I wanted to film it, keep you guys updated, and uh, yeah, I don't know, you know, we're just, we're just out here filming stuff and putting it up on the interwebs for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this change of pace. Uh, big shout out to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Remember the link's going to be in the description below for them. And that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. The next video should be uh, pretty crazy. I think we go into a surprise video on the 29th. But it's going to be pretty sick. And then we get into the frying pan series, which was me in the middle of the ocean. You guys will see the whole thing. It's going to be crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. Blade? Wow. She must have been extra hot.
<laughs> you see that? The blade. I just broke the blade off the freaking sawzall. <laughs> <laughs>